In this year of our Lord 2024, Timex celebrates their 170th anniversary by releasing an homage to the historical timepiece, the Yankee Dollar Watch, the watch that made the dollar famous. More on that watch at the end of this video. As a Timex fan, I knew I had to try to get a hold of this limited edition homage. Only 1,000 pieces will be released at the price of $1. Well, to be honest, it's probably 90% similar to their other Waterbury line homages, but this has special 170th anniversary flourishes we'll see later on in this video. Let's take the watch out of its little pillowcase. The case is a lovely brushed stainless steel 40 millimeters case diameter. The case back is engraved with Timex's 170th anniversary catchphrase. The strap is a dark brown leather. The side with the buckle has Timex Waterbury engraved on it. The 20 signifies the strap size so you buy the correct one in case you want to replace it. The other side has 170 engraved on it, commemorating the anniversary year. The dial has Roman numerals. They date at 3 o'clock and 170 anniversary edition at 6 o'clock. The hands are kind of retro looking and it has a quartz movement that's surprisingly pretty quiet, unlike the louder ticking of usual cheaper models. This entire line of Waterbury homages of Timex is really classy looking. Here's the 40 millimeter case on my small wrist. Does it look too huge? What would Reddit's R Watch at Circle Jerk sub say? The bottom strap keeper loop moves while the top one is fixed. The strap features quick release spring bars, so you can easily remove these to put on your custom straps to quickly change up its look. Just make sure to buy size 20 straps. The original strap has 20 engraved on it as a cheat sheet. Here's the Waterbury Dollar Watch with the Timex Marlin Snoopy homage I bought in 2023. Both have 40 millimeter case sizes, but the Marlin is bulkier because of its domed crystal. The Timex Marlin Snoopy came with a leather strap similar to the Dollar Waterbury watch, but I'd since swapped it out to an FKM rubber strap because it's hot in the Philippines, my wrist sweats. The Timex Dollar watch uses a simple push-pull crown to change the time, day, and date. Not much to say about it. The crown has another logo engraving on it. Nice touch. If you do eventually need to throw out the leather strap when it's worn out after years of use, you can remove the original buckle with a Timex logo to put on a new leather strap. It's what I did with my Timex Expedition. It's ready on its third strap after 12 years and still has its original buckle. Oh, before I forget, the Timex dollar watch has some faint loom on its hands once it's been charged by sunlight. Here's footage I shot in my dark bathroom. This is the other swag that came with the watch. Celebratory balloons, a Timex Analog Life tote bag, a Timex 170th anniversary ball cap, and cookie and the receipt that shows the princely sum of 50 Philippine pesos or 1 US dollar. Although with the peso's janky performance lately, 1 US dollar is actually around 57 Philippine pesos nowadays, but 50 is an easier round figure to transact with. So how did I come to obtain this watch? Globally, Timex released only 1,000 pieces spread out over various countries. In some countries, their online storefront and their website for this piece opened on November 16, 2024 for people to buy the watch. But here in the Philippines, Timex Philippines chose to hold a raffle at selected Timex and watch Republic stores a week before the 16th to keep things organized. My family filled up forms and signed up, and they drew the lucky names on November 12th, and on the 16th, the lucky draw name showed up at the Timex store in Mall of Asia in Pasay, and, well, you can see the event photos here I grabbed from the Timex Philippines Facebook page. Luckily, one of us won. So what is the Yankee dollar watch that this specific Waterbury model is an homage of that Timex chose to release as their 170th anniversary commemorative watch? Back in the late 19th century, pocket watches were expensive and out of reach for the common worker. Ingersoll had a collab with a Waterbury clock company to release a watch that costs just a day's wages for the typical American worker. It became known as the watch that made the dollar famous. What's that got to do with Timex is that the modern day Timex company is born out of a series of acquisitions of those first two companies too long to recount here. If you want to know more about the lore of the Yankee dollar watch, the best video I found about it on YouTube is made by Times Ticking. I'll link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video. What do you think of the watch? Watch. Is it worth the hype? Is it something you'd like to collect and wear? Please comment below. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to be updated when I upload again. See you next video.